Yo, I'm just picking y'all up. It is Friday, June 10th, and I have been doing some things today. I have went to the gym, I have made calls, I have, you know, answered emails. You know, oh, got the nails done yesterday. You saw that at the end. And um, now I was over here, I went to Ollie's to, to pick up a book and a greeting card. And I stopped at the Dollar Tree on this uh, another side of town. And guess what? The service that I received from this do Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 Tree, was amazing. It was the Chick-fil-A hood type of excellence that I want to say in this area. They gave me A1 service. Not only did the young lady help me with my bags she brought them out to the car she packed me and brought me out to the car left her register and i just want to say you know dollar 25 tree you, you you are doing it at this one and i just want to say that before i show you all what everything that i got from the dollar tree it was an amazing experience Okay, D fam, this, uh, so I made it back from my haul at the Dollar Tree, which was great service, as I said. So what I did get um, was some palm olive and two Ajax, as well as some Suavito Complete Fabric Softeners. I got two kinds, I got one in a lavender and one also in the waterfall mist, as well as this laundry rain fresh. And now th this, it does the job, you know, don't need the name brand, sometimes less is best. And this bleach right here is also good for colors and it has been doing amazing. This is my third time purchasing that. And then we go back here to the Suavito, I, I'm assuming that's the name, but um, I got this one in a morning fresh, morning sun, and also a field of flowers. This is another good one, and these last for 45 days as the um, packaging states, but it real, eh, it, 45 days, not so exact, but it, it does the job as well. And then I have from Carpet Fresh, this extra strength Carpet Fresh. And this is for that, um, the floors upstairs for tough odors, eliminate us. And this one smells really, really good. And that's why we never go without getting some baking soda um, to put in your fridge, your closets, um, wherever you think you may have odors or need it. always need that in your arsenal. Then for the bathrooms, I love this lavender fabuloso. It's very long lasting and it does really well. And I always say the quick uh, uh, trick you can also do is place some in an old pot on the stove with uh, a cup of water and cut it on slow simmer and it will smell the entire house really good. Also, I stockpile on these as well when you at, when I'm at the Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 Tree. Um, these deodorants at 20, 48 hours, they do really, really well um, for the odors. And I love to take these in my bag also for the gym. And you also got snacks from the Dollar Tree. Um, once again, I know I'm on a rant about my candies. I'm still not able to find my bacon bit, baked beans or my runts, but hey, I did find these pretzels, and these are the only pretzels that I really eat from the, um, throughout, from any other store. Um, these mini pretzels, these are a staple in my snack pile, and as well, of course, cheese balls. Like I said, don't sleep on these cheese balls and white cheddar popcorn. I got these because they didn't have the smaller bags with uh, the yellow packaging. I do like those, but got that. 
And then got some lace stackables, just some plain chips. Got two things of that. And lastly, but not least, the Crunchy Munch Toffee. Now this was my just supply. I will not need to go back to the Dollar Tree to for a couple of weeks. And because this is just refurbishing my stockpile on these different items for the time being. Um, I'll do another haul when I go and get some meats and veggies and, and see what kind of items I put um, get from that. And I'll do that at more than likely Aldi's, Lytle's, not Publix people, not Publix, but this is the haul for today. And it turned out to be, it was less than $30. Four dollars. Don't quote me. I don't have my receipt with me, but it was a good everything under forty dollars. So it was a good haul. From Welcome back, fam. This is Dana. Today is June the eleventh, and we're on our way out to to do a little um, recon on this adventure park in this other city. Um, just going to take that drive to see what they have with the four wheelers, the dirt bikes, horses, um, the trails, and see what they're offering. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If not, thank you for stopping by and hope you don't join me again. So today, um, the OOTD for today is... This sundress, an oldie but goodie. Um, it has a tie around the neck to hold up this. Now, if you have, you know, a larger or you're endowed, maybe you need um, a brassiere or a bandeau underneath to hold you. But um, I do not have, and it's just a fitted top. It, this is in a small, and I've had this for years. I had this offline. Um, don't know, remember where, but um, somewhere. And it's backless. Let's step up, let's step up to, if you can see it. Been working on those back muscles. And I have my little white slippers, little slippers on. And I did get the toes done, get the toes done. And I'll be carrying my blue Dunia Bird purse, um, something just light. Did not even want to carry something leather, but I cannot find my um, straw purse. I do not. I do not know where that's at. And also, I have the um, little clips in to make the bun a little more fuller today because still working on i'm not ready to get that birthday hair done yet but that's coming so join me today as we ride along to see what this adventure park has to offer okay fam yes i'm in the car and it's hot outside it is it's nine to one with a little overcast but um nonetheless it, it's still hot and I was just sitting here and I was thinking about um, God can do all things. And I had my book, what we looked in another vlog and saw um, it's still possible. 100 minders, reminders that God can do all things. And I just was re, um, looking over the book, but I had just not gotten into it. But wanted to start right now since I was in the car thinking, you know, okay, God i'm i'm asking you you know for certain things and um i just need a reminder that you can do all things and this is what um the book says what do you believe jesus looked at them intently and said humanly speaking it is impossible but not with god everything is possible with god mark 10 27 from the nlt in the following scene from this book, Through the Looking Glass, Lewis Carroll shines a light on one of the biggest issues in the human experience. Alice laughed. There's no use trying, she said. One can't believe in possible things. I dare say, you haven't had much practice, said the queen. When I was younger, 
I always did it for half an hour a day. Why sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Alice is like most of us. She sees the reality of the world and cannot grasp how some things are even possible. Her mind is finite and as she observes the world, she tosses the miracles aside and quickly declares it's impossible. Perhaps the queen in the tale believes as God would have us believe. She admits that she may not practice it enough now that she's older, but somewhere in her younger days, she was able to believe many impossible things before breakfast. Maybe it would help us if we would return to a more childlike faith, to the times when we believed in all that God can do without question. Perhaps with a rekindled belief in all that is truly possible, we would focus on what brings us more assurance and more awareness of all God does. When you are experiencing the bleak moments of life that cause your spirit to sag and your belief to waver, call out to the one who makes all things possible. After all, your life is in his hands and he has unlimited power for good. For your good, he wants to carry you through each dark moment into his glorious light. Why? Because he knows all that is possible and he wants you to know it too. So ask yourself, what do you believe? Lord God, I often believe I have no choices or no possibilities for success in the situations I face. Rekindle my unwavering belief in you and remind me to put my life in your hands every day. I trust you will guide me towards those things that are meant for me. Help me to fully believe you are God of all that is possible. Amen. So what do you believe? I'm believing God can do all things. And I turn it over to him. And thus, let's go eat. Well, fam, excuse the car. I know the noise, the road, and everything like that. But uh, it has been a day. It is It's like 6 o'clock. So I've been out like 7 straight hours. Um, did not get to go to the adventure park to see the four-wheelers, um, the the horses and all of that, the trails, whatnot, but I'll venture out and try that again soon. But I can't do, um, show you everything that I purchased today because, you know, when, when in doubt, you know, anything else, go shopping, go shopping. Uh, not really, but, um, so I did a little shopping here and there, but, um, otherwise I am really hungry right now. So I am taking it in and I'm going to eat, eat and take off these clothes and just get relaxed on this Saturday after six o'clock. So whatever I purchased today, the things and that um, I thought I was gonna show you today, not gonna happen. So I'll pick you back up tomorrow and we'll um, convene then and, and see all the little goodies that was um, purchased today. Hello fam, it's June the 13th today. This month is coming along really good. Um, off to exchange some, an, an item today. Uh, my low line coach sneakers, uh, they were too big, so I'm gonna have to go get another size, but I uh, just wanted to pop on and show the outfit today. My Dooney and Burke purse along with my shades that I got, just some gold frame shades that I got from Belks, along with my cartouche and a Cynthia Rowley tank top. 
very soft, very soft. And my go-to jeans with some BB slippers on. And thank you for joining me again if you're new to the channel. Thank you for coming back. If you're stopping by, please like, subscribe, come on back and join the fam. But today we're headed out to exchange some items. Well, I don't know why I'm saying items. There's only one thing, an item, and that is the goal, just to make sure I go in this store, exchange it. I am not purchasing anything. So once again, fam, just hold me accountable. Today is not a shopping day. It is a return day. So the goal is just return and come out that store. Come out the okay, store. Okay, guys, that was an epic fail. I came into the store and just exchanged that thing. But then all of a sudden, I did see the sale that was going on at Bath and Body Works. It tempted. It was a temptation. And I failed. I failed. I was not disciplined enough. And so, you know, it was in the hall for the day. So, with this haul that I'm going to show you later on, this will be included in it. I failed from the store, which I was, which I was only supposed to exchange one thing, which was my coach shoes, my low-line leathers. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. I exchanged those. And of course, there's still the white ones. These are the low lines, and they are white and black. Love these. Very good casual kind of vibe going on with those. But that was the mission. That was the mission to go to the store and get those. But before we go on to see what else I got, we're going to go back to yesterday when I said I was kind of tired. I was eating and I was like, I just could not show you everything I got. But today, this, this great find. I've been watching a lot of vlogs talking about how they go to Walmart and they find jean jackets for $5, a dollar, this and that. I was like, uh, I don't know which Walmart you have, but it's not in my Walmart. But I found these at a Walmart. These jeans for five dollars they have this great detail of this button going down here right here and the pants at the bottom right here has the free free little edges down there and then this is the back but i love the detail of it right here right there and the buttons and these i found the only one in a size four and they're a little big but these five dollars at walmart i'll take it i'll take it and then we get up marshall's again okay marshall's had some good um bath and bath items and i was like wow good sales rack this is Shea and Honey Shower Gel, um, refreshing, paraben, and gluten-free milk and honey. Look at there. And the price for this was only, get into it, $5.50. Great, great sale. And of course, the rest of Marshall's, when I was there, I found some absolutely amazing bath salts for four dollars. All of these were four dollars. Okay, this is the Shea Moisturizing Epsom Salt by Tree Hut Coconut Lime, and it was regular four ninety nine. It's four dollars, and this is a new one. These are some thick bath salts right here. This Himalayan with rose petals and rose hip oil. Rose and Lavender is vegan, gluten-free, paraben-free, and it's a 50 ounce. This Himalayan, and it was on the sale, right? For regular $7.99, and it was $4 as well. And then we find this Epsom salt. Okay, 
The reason I got a lot of Epsom salt is because when I work out and I want to come back and I want to shower and I want to take a bath, these are amazing. The smell and it relaxes you. It just helps your muscles throughout the entire experience when you're in the tub. And so here's another one from Tree Hut, the Shea Moisturizing Epsom Salt Tropical Mango. Who can go wrong with tropical mango? And that's one, and it was regular four ninety nine, and it's four dollars all on the sale. And that was Marshall's, ah, but not to forget. This was a, just a, just a find that I was like, mm, do I really need this? Do I or not? But if you've had this perfume before, you know this this is a good find. Rebecca Nigoff. I found this just a. Uh, a perfume, a little spray, a little fragrance spray, and she was $8.99. It was still on the sales rack, but I wore this out today, which is Monday, July the 13th. This, this little gym gave what it was supposed to be giving people. It gave a great smith salt, but very poignant. It was Mm, you can you can really smell it. So Rebecca Minkoff, um, founder for seven eight ninety nine. She was good. She was good. Also, I found again. It was just um, some black shades. You know you can never go wrong with shades. And I wore the gold ones today. I don't have them in the bag because I left them downstairs. But these were from Belks. I thought this was a great sale. Once again, it was, very, it was discounted, and they were $18.99. And this is from Wonder, Wonderly, Wonderly. Very good find from the I never think that was good on that side, but today, y'all, fam, I went back by there. Bath and Works. I thought the sale was over. The, and the girl said, No, ma'am. She said, Come here, let me show you. Mm. Don't show me. Do you want a basket, ma'am? No, I don't want a basket. Y'all, great finds. Of course, I needed another plug in. Need another plug in because I want to plug some more around there. But the bags, they're so cute. I love the bags. I love the bags. Yeah. Something that I stocked on and something other things that I got, which you may have in your arsenal already. Um, I got the Bahamas Passionate and Banana Flower, which smells really good. And of course, had to restock on my champagne toast. Um, I do not want to go and run out of this. And as well as Pink Chiffon. These were all on the 75% front and they were $5. Yes. But fam, this is what I want. Right here. You don't know how I like candles? Yes, yes, yes. This black cherry Marlowe. You're gonna love it. Ah, smell of vision. This one is, I'm gonna have to go back and restock on this Merlot because that's amazing. $11. And this rose water and ivy mahogany teak wood. I'm sure you've had the teak wood, but this, once again, amazing. This teak wood is awesome. And the last one is. Market peach and strawberry pound cake. Whew, it smells like you have just made a pound cake downstairs, which I don't cook. Huh? Okay. No, I mean, I don't make no ma'am. No, sir. This is amazing. So, those were my finds on Saturday, and today we skipped Sunday because uh, that was the rest day, but today that was a good day um i'm now baking some chicken downstairs and about to get me a salad 
and head out to the track because I'm still in training for that marathon that my sister had me sign up for in Atlanta in October. Yeah, yeah. She's a runner, and I'm just going to be there with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. But it was all a great fun today. It is hot here. I don't know about where you're at, but it's hot. But until next time, like, subscribe, please join the family. And if you like the content, just let me know. Drop some comments down below and let's chat back and forth. Peace.